free fall precision. These athletes are experts in the art of jumping out of planes. More than 40 military parachuting teams have descended here to the desert of Qatar to compete for the world championship title. The competitors are all active military members and have been training for years to get here. Most have tens of thousands of jumps to their names. You know, we all have the, the tactical and technical expertise of the American soldier and we just rely on our training. We fall back on what we've done thousands and thousands of times. Qatar is hosting the World Military Parachuting Championships for the first time, but the Gulf nation is already well known in the air sports community. Its national team won two gold and one bronze medal in the last competition. This squad and country are hoping to make a lasting legacy in the sport. As everybody know, after let's say one year, we have the World Championship, World Cup, let's say 2022. So this one will help the people who don't know Qatar, like the teams never been to Qatar, to have idea what is Qatar, to, to see the stadium we built. So this one, it's also part to show what Qatar can do. Each country will compete in three disciplines, free fall skydive, accuracy landing, and four-way formation. Men and women compete separately, but under the same flag. I say hello from Brazil. <laughs> Hi, Brazil. <laughs> the events are all dependent on weather. We had to take a break while filming to wait for a sandstorm to pass. Team USA waited with us. Round one always gets you uh, feeling like you got the jitters until you get round one done, and then, uh, then you're feeling okay for the rest of the time. But everyone's usually pretty nervous for the first round. We were invited to join the teams in their final moments before competition. The results of these jumps will be tallied in the coming days before a winner is announced. You know, I can't do a story about parachuting and not jump out of a plane. This guy, he's the professional. He knows what he's doing. I don't, but well, we're gonna go give this a try. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. We get in the plane with other teams who are about to compete. We climb for several minutes until we reach 3,000 meters. As we climb up, the teams mentally prepare for their jump. I try to do the same. Then minutes later, once the earth is just a blur below, it's time to free fall. Not gonna 